Okay, so I wanted to give you a tour really quick of my food forest, which is a lot of food weeds right now, or non-food weeds, but we are doing okay this year. I think it's definitely been a better year than last year, which is just what we go for every single year. I've got a lot of this stuff growing. It's a pain. And the word, the name of it is failing me right now. I know the name, but pokeweed. Lots of pokeweed that I have to pull up. It's very hard to pull up. Um, but you can see comfrey growing in there behind. We've got some elderberry. I actually didn't want this elderberry tree here. It's a volunteer. Um, but I've got my comfrey and I've got some oregano growing under there. I'm going to have to do some cleanup this year. i got some hyssop here. Marigolds, which I always love. They can have as, I can have as many of those as possible. Um, these are, I forget what they're called. But they kind of take over. They're edible. My corn didn't do well this year, but that's because the chickens, I think. Overall, I think I need to fertilize the, uh, the corn better. I have, um, well, I had some watermelon growing, and it just never produced watermelons. It produced all sorts of vines, but no watermelons, which was interesting. I think I just need maybe a little bit more compost over this area. So this is the end of the season, of course. Um, that's an herb I planted. These are potato slips. Not really sure what to do with these, um, but they're sweet potato slips. They did pretty well in this corner. Elderberry did really well. I'm going to cut this back this year because um, I want to fix some of this fencing that goes between the chickens and um, the chickens in the garden. I just want to get it settled. You can see there's some gaps. They've been sneaking in. Not too huge of an issue, although it's a little bit of an issue, <laughs> but um, it is what it is for this year. Um, but I'm trying to get that fixed for next year so we won't have as many issues. Um, you can see some of these plants are so heavy they're falling over. But I had a sunflower growing up here. I have a tree. Um, I have a few trees growing in this corner that are kind of underneath. I think they like the shade, so I'm just kind of letting the weeds do what they're doing right now. And uh, I'll figure it out later. I've got some milkweed here growing underneath this baby. It's doing pretty well. <laughs> My apple trees are looking unhappy. And they are a couple older apple trees. And they are super old. So you got this one here. And we get this one. This one looks okay. They've needed to be treated with something, and I just haven't gotten to it. Um, got a tree here. I got some more grapevines. Got a few little plants growing here and there. My dahlias did really well this year. Um, my lavender is finally coming in. Basil did well as usual. I get lavender. I'm hoping that'll come back each year. I um, really like lavender. Got some nasturtium here growing. Weeds, but these weeds in particular, my uh, guinea pigs really like. I grew some cantaloupe, which actually came in pretty well. Lots and lots of um, marigolds. Again, I planted a ton of seeds. This is not even most of the seeds. I got some cat mint growing here. I know you're not supposed to plant mint in the ground. However, um, I actually have a reason to grow the cat mint, so that's why we have it. And Kind of like last year, I'm having really good luck with my raspberries starting to take over. Unfortunately, there's some weeds in between that are hard to get to because, of course, raspberries are spiky. So I'll probably try to tame that back a little this fall. I want to say this is hyssop, and we got some basil here. Um, I planted these this year right alongside the pond because they're supposed to be good next to the pond. They've done really well here. Um, Got our little bench and we've got our guinea pig area I'm loving this this has been great um, next year I think in the fall I'm gonna move the tomato area somewhere else because this has not worked here um, it keeps me from getting my raspberries which makes me sad I want to have like full access to the raspberry plants and I want to be able to get around back here because I have a pear tree and then I have some basil and I had tomato tomatoes and stuff growing I think just a little more strategic, of course, because we put up the guinea pig cage midway through the season. It made it difficult to get through. Um, let's see. 
over the winter, I also want to add more of the, um, the arches so I can grow vertically a little bit better. Um, here's some more marigolds. We've got a random smothering, smithering, something, I don't know, of herbs and also weeds here. You can see I've got some oregano coming back here because you cannot get rid of it once it starts growing, which is awesome because it's a good problem to have. And um, I had some squash that grew and uh, kind of still here. Cherry bush is doing pretty well. This is my loofah area, which has done really well. I've got to actually cut some of the larger ones. My child just handed me these, so I'm sure those will be great for this. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for, but I don't know. You can see it kind of got out of hand back here as usual. This corner and like that corner over there always get really overgrown. So I feel like one year I'm going to hopefully get that under control. I think what I'd like to do, I've got my pear tree here. I'd like to plant some more companion plants underneath it. So hopefully um, they'll kind of take up the space and keep weeds from growing. Um, yeah, so I just came out here to do some gathering of the loofahs they're still going strong so i'm hoping to get a few more of them before the end of the year but i've just started to get a good compost set up so i think for over the winter i'm going to start adding compost out here so hopefully everything will grow a little bit better next year and i may decide to spray this i don't know we'll see but yeah that's what where we're at it's not beautiful it's not perfect i should say but i like it and i find it very soothing to be out here so yeah totally worth all the time I put into it so I hope this was helpful take care bye